Hey guys, so I've made over 125 videos here on the channel. I have gained over 14,000 subscribers, almost 15,000 at this point. And every video you actually watch here on the channel, the audio has actually been or had actually been recorded with my mobile phone, including the audio you are actually hearing right now, right? You see, people can forgive a bad quality um, video. People can forgive the fact that you have a poor accent, just like my own. But what people cannot forgive is the fact that they can't hear you. So. Recording a very good audio is actually vital for your success as a content creator, okay? So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how I record my audio with my phone, how I make it sound good, so that you too can actually do the same. Now, what I'm about to share with you is not what I have actually um, read somewhere or what I've actually looked read in some paper. I'm actually going to be sharing my experience with you in almost two years of being on YouTube and creating over 125 videos with just my cell phone as my voice recorder, okay? For those of you that are new, my name is Kingsley. On this channel, we talk about tech gears, we talk about gadgets, we talk about tech history, we talk about everything that has to do with technology in a very fun way. So you might wanna consider subscribing so that you'll actually um, be the first to know when we drop another beautiful video just like this one, okay? You see, one of the reasons why cell phones cost up to $450, $1,000 or $2,000 like in the case, case of the Galaxy Fold is because of the components that are used to design these phones. Now as a technician, I will tell you that every component you see inside a flagship phone or a mid-range phone that is very expensive is actually top notch and these things are designed these phones are designed for for multi-purpose or multitasking it's unfortunate that some of us only use them to make phone calls and maybe browse our instagram feeds and stuff like that but the point is that you can actually use that phone to achieve more than what you actually imagine and one of those things is actually recording good audio so one of the first steps to recording good audio with your phone is actually um, to record in a very quiet place. Now this might seem very obvious, but I see it often on YouTube or on, that, on other social um, media networks. Content creators recording videos, you hear people talking in the background or you hear some background noise or you hear, um, you hear some echoes and stuff like that, which is really, really annoying to the listener, right? Now, if you live in a place that is very noisy, like in the place I used to live, um, what you would do is, or what I suggest you do is record your audio in the night. That was what I was doing. Instead of recording my audio during the day, people are passing all over, cars are driving by, and cars are honking and all that. So it was really, really annoying. And so I couldn't record during the day. I had to record between um, um, 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. in the morning. That's when everywhere is usually quiet. So I will do that until I had to move out of that apartment to the one I'm living in now. And then secondly, if you're recording in a room, sometimes it's advisable that um, in order to avoid echoes, you might have to um, record in a room that has some stuff in it. You know, like I'm recording in my bedroom right now. I have a bed on the floor. I have a curtain on the window. The wardrobe is over there. The air conditioner is there, you know, there, there are some stuff. I got some books on the ground there. And so there are some stuff in this room that um, will actually avoid the room echoing. So that's why you might hear a little bit of echo, but not much like it will be if the room was actually empty. Another way to record very good audio with your phone is how you place the phone. Now, it depends on the kind of video you're recording. It's either you are recording a talking head video, which is the one I am sitting down now talking to you, or you actually record the, recording a voiceover, which is the one you might actually just be hearing the person's voice and stuff. Now, back in the day, what I would do is, when I'm doing a talking head video like this, I will actually um, sit on the table, then I'll put some books by my side, which actually looked like um, design or the books were intentional to be there. Then I'll place my phone on top, turn on my recorder, and then I start talking to the camera. My phone will actually be capturing my voice. And that is because the room is quiet. So the phone actually starts capturing my voice and I talk to the camera. Then when I finish, I will go and sync the audio in post. The mistake I used to do before that was I would just turn on the voice recorder and place it on the table, then sit upright like this and I'm talking. And the audio still sounded good, but I sounded far away from the microphone. So if you're doing a talking head video, just look for something, anything that just that will look fine on camera, then keep it then turn on the voice recorder of your phone. If you are sitting this way, drop it, let the um, let the the, 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 the the microphone face you and just act normal and talk. 
the, um, the, the phone is still going to record your voice very clean, right? Then the other way to actually record if you don't want to use this other method I just mentioned, the placing the phone on top of something method, you might actually want to invest in an external microphone. Now, yeah, I know, I, 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 some of you might say, hey, you are bringing in something else here. Yes, I use this right here, the microphone you are hearing now, right now, which you are hearing my voice on. If I tap it, you can actually hear that. That is the microphone I'm using right now. It is the Boya M1. You know, I bought this little over um, 10 to $15 or $20. I've forgotten what it is I got it from. You know, these things are available on Amazon. The Boya, Boya M1 is available on Amazon. You can actually buy it. So what I, what I do right now is, instead of placing stuff in front of me or sitting on the table, because I don't really like sitting on the table, so I'll actually hook up my Boya M1 to my phone. You know, since it has a headphone jack, I'll actually hook it up to the headphone jack of the phone. I hope you can actually see this right there and then if you use a phone that doesn't have use like an iphone or you use um like maybe the samsung galaxy s20 series that do, that don't have headphone jacks you can actually buy these little tiny dongles you hook it up there where you can actually hook up your um m1 microphone to it some phones come with these things inside the box so you can actually hook this up to there and you still um record your audio so turn on the voice recorder and sit down as i'm sitting down record the audio straight up to your phone then later you sync it up in post on um, to your um, actual video i found that method to actually work very very much so i have used it in client work i work jobs that i've done for some clients i have actually used this method some videos i've actually recorded at church recently during this lockdown period and stuff i've actually used this method and it's turned out to work out really fantastic and then a little advice before we go ahead some people have actually said hey download this app download this app it's going to help you record good audio download this voice recorder and all that that actually hasn't worked for me i've actually tried all these methods i've actually found out that the um the stock voice recorder on my phone is actually still the same quality that it gives us all these apps so it's not really about the app you use it's really about the quality of the phone or how good the audio the phone can actually um record so it's not really about the app that you're going to use it's really about the phone and how you record the audio right so don't really kill yourself downloading a ton of apps i have actually used this method when i was using my iphone 6s i was actually using the headphone jack directly when i was using um uh, every other phone i've actually used basically this is the method i have used but what the point is that i've actually used the stock apps that come inside the phone so don't really bother um, looking for this app that app that app use your stock app it's really going to record good audio for you all right phase two if you are not actually recording a talking head video like this you're actually recording a voiceover video what we would do is you will actually need to um this might sound a little bit funny but i've used it a lot like what i would do is i'll carry a big sheet like a duvet or something and then i will just fold it around and place um, the phone inside then sit down on a chair i put it on the table sit down and then put my mouth very close or inside that circle and start recording my voice my voice over and i found this to actually work really really well because if it's a voice over the audio like if i'm sitting in a room now and i'm talking to you um there's actually this element of yes i'm sitting in a room so people want to hear that but a voiceover that nobody sees you they want to hear your audio clearer so sitting down and um, using this method i just mentioned actually makes the audio clearer than what you're actually hearing now right now this method also works in a room that is very echoey in a place that is a little bit noisy just pick any thick piece of cloth or any thick uh, material like uh, sometimes your bed sheets can actually work if you have a thick cardigan in your house you can actually use that if you have um, a bunch of clothes you can actually pack them together just make maybe form a circle in between or create some space in between turn on your voice recorder put it in between there then sit down let your mouth face there and then record your voice and then try this method you're actually going to see how clear this is actually going to sound like this has actually been a savior to me i've recorded a lot of voiceover even the, a video i have here on the channel that has gained over 1.8 million views that audio was actually recorded with this method you know so i urge you guys to try this out if you have any question let me know down in the comments and still don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed at this point all right then another thing you have to do after recording your audio with your phone to actually enhance the audio is you have to learn how to process your audio now 
this might not sound really obvious to some people i know a lot of people just record their um, their audio out of their cameras or out of their phones and then they take the audio straight into post and sync it and put it out there that is okay but what i have found out to work is that after i record my audio just as i am doing now i am actually going to take the audio and put it into an audio editing software and enhance the audio now the software I currently use are two softwares. It's either I'll use Adobe Audition or I'll use Studio One. You can also use other softwares like Pro Tools. You can use um, Apple Logic Pro X. You can use Ableton Live. Like there are a ton of audio softwares out there. Anyone that you feel comfortable with, you are still going to achieve the same result. You know, just put the audio there do some EQing, do some, do some uh, mastering, mixing and stuff. The audio is actually going to sound far, 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 far better than when it came out of the phone or on process, right? So by all means, please make sure you actually process the audio. It's actually going to help. Now, for those of you that might say, hey, I don't know how to use any of this software. Um, some, of, some of them are actually pretty straightforward to use. Something like, uh, let's say Adobe Audition, for instance. Now, um, I, how I learned how to use it was, I just watched a bunch of tutorials here on YouTube and also on Skillshare. That was how I learned how to use it. But I'm going to leave a link to a bunch of videos that teach you how to um, actually process your audio here on, 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 on in the description. So follow those links, go and watch those videos but try and process your audio processing my audio before I post it out there has actually made a ton of difference in the way my audio sounds like it's made the whole difference in the war you know so after you go through all these processes I have mentioned to actually record your video very clean the next and the biggest phase of it all is processing the audio with a, um, a digital audio workstation or a door or a software that, that makes um, creates music or audio and all that. So that is very, very important. Now there are a ton of things or there are still a ton of trip. <sighs> there's still a ton of tricks I can actually show you, but I'll leave it at this one for today. If you guys are still interested in knowing more, let me know down in the comments. I will actually um, still um, make another video as as a continuation of this one but for now um i'm gonna leave it at this so if you have any question again once more let me know down in the description all right and then come hang out with me on facebook twitter and instagram at tech over underscore overwatch all right so i'll be expecting to hear from you and also we have some very awesome videos here on the channel please follow them out go and watch them and um leave the leave your likes and thumbs ups and stuff so my name is kingsley once again i'll catch you again in the next one